Hey, how's it going YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Warzone Season 3 dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, so Warzone's new update was dropped recently and in this video I'm going to be going through all of the settings. So let's start with the first one that is your Windows settings. Simply search for settings on your PC and then open it up. Once you're here, go down to personalization and then head over to colors. Over here you'll find something called transparency effects. If this is on, you guys can see that you will be looking at your wallpaper in the background. Simply turn this thing off and disable these animations off of your PC and it will save a little bit of performance right away. After that, head down to gaming head over to game bar and turn this thing off game bar is an overlay service which costs performance and if that is running it can cause performance issues in the game what you guys have to do is simply turn this thing off get back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this thing on game mode turned on will optimize your pc by turning things and applications off in the background helping you to improve your fps right after that click on the graphics button and then click on optimizations for windowed games you wanna have to turn this thing on it will reduce input latency by using advanced features in compatible games. Right after that, click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware etc GPU scheduling. This option will be available to you if you have a dedicated hardware. Using this, it will utilize your graphic card over your CPU to divide the workload. Right after that, scroll a bit down and then click on add desktop app over here and then go to the download location of your Call of Duty. If you are unaware of it, right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Once you are here, simply copy this file path, paste it over here and then head in. Once you are over here, you will find something called cod.exe, simply click on the add button. If that is already added, select it and then head over to high performance. After that, click on the add desktop app button again and then open up cod22. In this, you will find cod22 core.exe click on the add button and add it in the list as well once that is added click on the gpu preference and then select high performance over here as well this is the one which is responsible for your warzone games after that you guys can simply close your settings before moving ahead i'd like to introduce you all to wondershare unique converter which is an amazing tool to upscale your content you can download it from the link in the description below once you open up the software it should look like this and right over here it has a very simple interface with a ton of tools integrated right within it the application itself has many different useful tools such as conversion between thousand plus formats and as the name suggests, it also supports AI video enhancing and image enhancing as well as text to speech and a lot of other useful tools as well. It is very simple and easy to use for both beginners and experts and that is why it is my first choice. For example, I have an MKV file over here which I have recorded through my OBS and I want to convert it and upscale it to an MP4 file. What you have to do is simply click on the convert button and then simply drag and drop this file right over here. Now what you guys have to do is simply click on the video section, head over to mp4 and then select 4k video right over here. Then click on the settings gear and then for the frame rate select 60 fps. For the sample rate go with 48,000 and the bit rate should be the highest. Click on the save button and then close it and now you have to click on the convert button. And this is how simple it is. They also have more tools in here where you guys can find video, audio and image related tools right over here and a lot of other cool stuff. I would recommend you guys to go check out Wondershare Uni Converter for yourself from the link in the description below. Now let us move ahead with the video. Next step is heading to the download location of your game. Open up COD22 folder and then scroll a bit down until you find COD22-COD.exe. Right click on that, head over to its properties and then click on compatibility. Over here click on disable full screen optimizations then click on change high dpi settings and then select override high dpi scaling behavior click on ok click on apply and then click on ok once again and this will help you to optimize your input latency once that is done simply close this step next step is msconfig and for that press windows and r key together and then type in msconfig over here this will open up system configuration what you guys have to do is head over to the boot section click on advanced options and then click on number of processor choose the maximum number of processors available for your pc click on the ok button and then click on apply this will utilize all cores while your pc boots up after that head over to the services tab and then click on hide all microsoft services over here i would recommend you guys to disable all kind of fan control services rgb services browser update services and other services that you feel that you do not use right after the boot of your pc the lower the number of 
services running in the background will be helpful to improve your FPS in the games. Once that is done, click on the close button. The next step is disabling as many startup applications as you can. And for that, press control, shift and escape all together. And this will open up your task manager. What you guys have to do is head over to the fourth tab that is startup applications. And over here, you'll find all of the applications that boots up with your PC. What you guys have to do is select as many applications as you can, which you do not use right after the PC starts up. For an example, I don't use my browser. I don't use Copilot. I don't use Epic Games Launcher. So I have disabled all of these applications, which I do not use. The lesser these applications are, the less number of services will run in the background and will help you to improve your BIOS booting time as well as your system's performance. Once it is done, simply close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. And over here, scroll a bit down until you find a local disk C. Click on the create button and name it something that you can remember from. I will name it COD and then press enter. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, click on the close button and then close system properties. Next step is the Warzone FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can download it from there or join my Discord server for a detailed download tutorial once it opens up you'll find in five simple folders first one is your cpu priority in which i have left amd and intel cpu files if you have an intel cpu like me you can double click and apply the intel cpu priority and if you have an amd cpu you can double click and apply the amd cpu priority this will help you to set up the correct d word values for your processor to improve their performance second step is ram optimization in which i have left a ton of registries according to your ram i have 32 gb rams so i need to apply this registry on my pc it could be different for you so you can apply it for yourself once again if that doesn't give you an optimal performance you guys can always reset it back to default using this registry over here third one is the call of duty warzone priority in which i have left above normal high priority and normal priority i would recommend you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here fourth one is disable unwanted services in which i have left disable downloading maps dvr transparency effects xbox services threat priority and a lot of other services what you guys can do is simply double click and start disabling every single one of these service right over here it will help you to save your system's resources. Fifth one over here is the programs folder in which I have left three very simple programs. The first one is clean temporary files. You want to have to right click on it as administrator. Once it opens up, it asks you to press any key to continue. Simply press any key on your keyboard and it will start deleting all temporary files right away. I highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then because these temporary files are very useless and deleting them will help you to improve the performance of your PC. Simply close it. Next one is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click on it as administrator straighter. Once this software opens up, what you guys are looking for is your graphic card in this list. Ensure that you have the check mark on the MSI button and then for the interrupt priority select high. After that click on the apply button and then close it. This will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts and significantly improves the performance of your GPU without overclocking it. Next is quick CPU and this is only a setup file you have to install it on your PC and open quick CPU up. Now once it opens up what you guys are looking at is a very complicated screen with a lot of numbers. But don't worry I'll make it all simple for you. First thing is your power plan over here you wanna have to select high performance or ultimate performance if that is available for your pc select set as active once you select that and the next thing that you want to change is all of these indexes over here for core parking everything should be set to 100 percent core parking frequency scaling turbo boost and performance after that click on the apply button and then it will make sure that all of your cores are currently in use this will improve the performance of your pc drastically once it is done simply close it and close the fps pack as well next step is fixing all of your network issues packet loss ping issues and latency using no ping that you guys can download for free from the link in the description below once you open up the software it should look like this and it is very simple it has over 1000 games to choose from simply search for call of duty over here and then click on choose server click on choose manual server and then head over to the nearest server to you for me it would be in the middle east and as you guys can see it automatically gives you the server with the lowest amount of ping Right now, I'm getting 39 milliseconds of ping in the Dubai server, so I'll simply click on optimize this game. And this will help me to tunnel my internet straight from my PC to the game servers without any hindrance. And the best part of using no ping is it also helps you to improve your FPS and it has a new AI server swap features, which means at any given point, if it finds a server which has lower ping than the already chosen one, it will automatically switch to that.
I personally use Nooping for myself and I have seen drastic network improvements and FPS improvements in my game and I would highly recommend you guys to go and check it out for yourself as well. Links are in the description below. And once you're done applying all of those steps, you guys can now drop into the game with the best in game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, head over to the settings gear over here and then go down to graphic settings. In the display settings, you're gonna have to make sure that your display mode is always set to full screen borderless so you guys can utilize frame generation if you guys want to use it. Next is the display monitor. You guys can then go with your native display monitor display adopter you guys can go with your native display adopter firstly is your display gamma you're gonna have to set 2.2 and then your nvidia reflex low latency if that is available for you go with on plus boost then you have eco mode preset you guys can go with custom vsync if the gameplay should be turned off in the menus i have set it to 33 percent custom frame rate limit i have set my frame rate limit to 240 fps because i have a 240 hertz monitor next is reduce a menu resolution go with optimal pause game rendering off reduce quality when inactive 10 minutes and focused mode i have set it to zero for hdr and gr collaboration it is absolutely your own preference after that head over to the quality section and here is the most important part for the upscaling and sharpening i have set it to nvidia dlss because i have an nvidia graphic card if you have an amd graphic card go with fsr3 you can alternatively use dlaa to improve your quality as well i personally prefer nvidia dlss for myself amd fsr3 frame generation this will help you this will create extra frames and maybe double it but on the cost of input latency but if you guys have appropriate input latency fixes you guys can absolutely turn this thing on as well i personally do not like it on vram scale target i have set it to 80 then for detail and textures text for texture resolution go with low anisotropic filtering low depth of field off detail quality i have set it to low as well particle resolution very low bullet impacts and persistent effects off shader quality mid medium on demand texture streaming you guys have to go with minimum local texture streaming quality go with normal then you have shadow quality i set it to low screen space shadows off occlusion and screen space lighting you guys can go with low over here as well screen space reflections off and static reflection quality low after that you have environment settings in which you have tessellation i have set it to near volumetric quality low default physics quality i have set it to high weather grid quality off and then water quality you have to set it to wave wetness once all of that is done head over to the view tab and apply these settings in here you have to enable a motion reduction preset and once that is done you guys can simply close your settings and drop into the game with the best fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers i really appreciate your support and we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching Firefox and peace out